how to edit GoDaddy website after publishing. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I am going to show you how easy it is to uh, publish a website on GoDaddy and also how we can edit that after we have done the publishing. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over godaddy.com then you are going to head over the website builder so you are going to see here that we are on godaddy.com we're going to select your websites and hosting select website builder then you are going to get this uh, welcoming page you need only to sign in for an account and then you are going to click on the favicon of the account right there or your name here up here then you are going to select my product after that you're going simply to see here at the dashboard of your websites that you have created. If you don't own a website yet, you're going to click on set up a free website. If you have already some websites, you're going to see them pop in here. So they will give you a 14 days trial or free trial. You are going to test the websites, test the different functionalities and etc. So after these uh, or this trial will be ended, you're going to be uh, here obliged to buy a uh, upgrade or a subscription on GoDaddy to make sure that everything goes well. So right here we have uh, a website. I'm going to select one of these and then we are going to see the dashboard of the website. As you can see here we have the case specific websites. Right there we have the website so we can go ahead and uh, control uh, the website from uh, this control panel. You can go ahead and set up whatever you want for the website. Uh, here, this is in the technic or uh, right there or the administrative way. So for the design and also uh, right there, digital way, we are going to select here the website. As you can see at the right side of the screen, we have it on draft. So we are going to click on publish site. And then we are going to see the uh, website that has been published. So right here, officially the website is published. So it is publishing right there. Everything is okay. So we are going to wait for the uh, website to give it or give us the feedback of publishing. Here, uh, as you can see here, uh, I'm going to stay on the free plan. So after you have set that, you're going simply right there to back right there. I'm going to head over the uh, website builder. Again, so this is it, the dashboard. So let's ignore this. So here we have it. It is published. So we are going to click instead on edit website. Then we're going to get here at the website editor or the builder. So each one of the elements on the website that you can see on the screen is fully editable from the cover image to the title and to the menu right there. And every button is clickable, of course. So if you want to modify something, you need to click on it. So here, for example, we can go ahead and click on this title and change the style of it, change the color or change the font size. The fonts or the type of the font that are used right there could be changed. But here we are going to head over here, which is uh, going to be the uh, right side of the screen. And then you're going to set up the cover by clicking on settings and then or you can go ahead and click on theme and from the theme you're going to see here the color the fonts and the buttons here we have the type of the fonts that are available in uh, godaddy website so you are going to see here tons and tons of fonts that are with the preview of course so you can go ahead and change the uh, fonts of your website completely by clicking on them so aside from that you have here the ability to add section and this section could be added and also so or you are going to see this button between two sections so you are going to click on add section and then you're going to have your website set and everything is going to be like before i mean before that period that you have published your website here i highly recommend for you if you are going to make a major editing after publishing your website you need to make it unpublished so because you're going to make some uh, let's say here bugging or some uh, difficulties for the entrant of the website to navigate through it 
So you are going to give them the wrong impression about your website. So I highly recommend for you to click on unpublish. Yes, unpublish. Then you're going to make your main or your uh, uh, here the uh, editing that you are going to make it since it is a major editing. So if it is not a major editing that will concern, for example, the database or something like that, you're going to let it. If you are going to add a product, let it publish. If you are going to, for example, make something else, you are going to uh, set up this as it is. Let it uh, publish, and here we have it. Now, for the website, you are going to see the site navigation. We have the shop. For for here, we have the pages, or the name of the. Uh, as you can see here, uh, right there, uh, the main menu items. So you can go ahead and navigate through them connect them together, see the setting of them. You can, for example, for the shop, you can add some products, add category, manage the store from here. And for the home page, also you can go ahead and do whatever you want. Here, most uh, of the uses of the website builder on GoDaddy will be here for the stores like Shopify. So here you are going to create a website that will report or will uh, give you and also uh, collect for you or yourself some benefits. So you need to create a, a regular store and then you are going to set it up. Don't forget to add a blog in addition to the store because it is going to be here very interesting for the people who likes to read, for example, about the products, about some news about the products and etc. So now we are going to start to do some editing. Uh, right there, I'm going to visit here my website. I'm going to add a section. So let's go ahead and add a section and this section is going to be maybe a blog and a newsletter. So we are going to choose blog and then we are going to choose one of the uh, three ideas or three uh, sections that are uh, here. I'm going to use this one. Click on add and it will be added normally. So right there, this is the blog. We don't have a post yet, so we are going to here see the parameters or the layout of the blog right there at the right side you can go ahead and choose the background of the section and also you can edit the theme color from here so you have the title and we have here the intro you can go ahead and set it or set the source data from your blog or you can go ahead and set it for an external uh, blog feed and also you are going to set the url so here we have a blog feed or feed URL that is connected to another website. It is a random, I think, or it is following up the rules of uh, GoDaddy. I don't know. So this is a, just an example. So you're going to see here some blogs uh, popping right there. We have a lot of blogs that are available. So whenever you are going to click on these blogs, since it is an external blog feed, it will take you to the direct website that has been came in or coming from. So right there, we have this. And now we can go ahead and make or move the section up and down by clicking here on the uh, here on the arrows. So for example, I'm going to make it here uh, here only under the banner. So we are going to have it like this. You can go ahead and modify the layout. You can modify the color of it, for example, like that, or like this. This is the font color. So go ahead and make your case right there. And also you can modify or delete the section right there. When you finish setting up the blog, so you are going to click on done. And here we have modify the first page. So now let's go to the shop and add a product. I'm going directly to the shop. Here I have only one product, so you can go ahead and add a section here, click on commerce, and then you are going to see, for example, featured categories, featured product, and here different sections that are here useful for your blog. I'm not going to add a section, but I'm going to add a product. So I'm going to click on the gear box or the gear tool icon right there. Click on add product, and then you are going to uh, prepare your product. For example, I'm going to add this one. This is just an example of a website. So we are going to uh, upload it. And here the AI will generate some, uh, as you can see here, we have GoDaddy Iro. It is an AI bot that will generate some descriptions, some keywords, and also some explanation for the visitors of the image that you have uploaded. 
So right there, it hasn't read the image, I think. So we are going to add it manually. You're going to add the image again, right there to the library. So here we have it. It is uh, here uh, processed. So we are going to select here both uh, or one of the two options, which is here first, the physical products. If you are going to sell some clothes, for example, uh, some accessories or some digital products like ebooks and etc. So you are going to set up the description, the price, the category, and etc. So when you finish, you are going to click on save, boom. And this is how we can modify the, uh, as you can see here, the uh, modification or the editing after the publishing of the website. So you are going to click on publish again when you finish any of the uh, modification that you have set. Click on publish and it will make sure that everything is set and safe. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.